Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and on this video I am going to delve straight into the Litchi app and what I'm going to be doing is using Active Track, okay? But not only Active Track in a small little means, oh no, I'm going all out and I'm going to use automated Active Track using Litchi and the DJI Mini 2 to track my car. So let's get into it. Now, a couple of things I need to address straight off the bat. Basically, I'm still getting a lot of comments from you guys saying that the latest Litchi app you can find in the Google Play Store, for example, is not compatible with the DJI Mini 2. Now, on my very first video that I did relating to the SDK release, I did explain that basically for it to work, you need to actually participate in Litchi's beta program, okay? So if you go back and watch that video, I will show you in that video exactly what you need to do once you participated in the beta program you actually download a beta version of the uh, of the Litchi app and that is the one that is compatible with the DJI Mini 2 the Air 2S and the uh, Mini SE but on this video I'm going to explain all about active track now Litchi just gives you basically two versions of tracking you get a full active track where you are selecting an object on screen and hoping it will follow and track and keep it in frame and then you have GPS follow GPS follow is very basic and all it does is follow the GPS location of the controller so that's not really something that I'm going to cover in this video and we'll cover it in a separate video but for this one I want to go absolutely all in and talk about the main active track now this active track is split into two parts the first part is basically where I'm going to show you exactly how it works tracking a person and some of the buttons you need to press because it won't initially be able to move all it will do is yawn its axis until you release and uh, press a button basically and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then take the car out okay I do have a driver by the way I'll be observing on the passenger seat uh, ensuring safety at all times and see if Litchi using the DJI Mini 2 can keep up with my car so let's just crack on with it so what I'm going to do is the first step of active track okay now with DJI what you do is well with the fly app you just use one finger to draw a box but with Litchi you need to use two so what I'm going to do is just gonna draw this box around myself Okay, and just be aware that you have to give the drone a bloody fighting chance. The drone has to be able to see you. So of course I'm wearing black, the road is quite wet, so let's give the drone a bit of a chance here and accept that it might not be perfect, the sun is absolutely beaming on me, but we'll see what happens, okay? So as you can see, I am now trapped. Now what I'm going to do is very simply go for a walk, okay? Now at this moment, the drone is not actually going to move. All it's going to do is spin and rotate on its axis. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow the drone to be able to actually follow me and move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button here. Now it says, do you wish to start following now? Please ensure the area is clear and be ready to regain control using the flight control uh, flight mode button at any time. Now this is where the drone will actually be able to move and follow me. So if I move backwards slowly, you'll be able to see by the lines on the road the drone is actually moving, all right? But there you go, it is keeping up with me. Hopefully it doesn't fly into the back of my head, but it's not doing too much of a bad job. And don't forget, you're not going to have follow mode on all of the time, are you? You know what's basically going to happen is you're going to sort of turn it on or off just to get those shots and as you can see i am now talking to the drone i'm not touching anything and the drone is keeping me in shot and it's just flying backwards so that just shows it does work so just to stop that then that button okay um now if i try to move you will see again the drone will only rotate on its axis it won't actually follow me anywhere but here's a cool thing. Now, if I get closer to the drone, it can't move. But if I go all the way up, I'm only pressing one button. It's lowering the gimbal to keep me in shot. If I come back down again, again, I'm looking at the drone, it should be raising the gimbal back up to keep me in shot. So, you know, the, the process works. It does what it's supposed to do. 
Um, I'm quite happy about that and of course as you can see that drone is recording automatically I really like it we've got the options to AE lock and also one thing I've already tried as well many people have been missed if you wish that the uh, DJI Fly app doesn't put a cache version of what it's recording or any photos on your phone well the Litchi app actually does however what I'm going to do now all right is I am going to um, take my accomplice which is hidden just out of sight and then we're going to take this car for a drive just up and down here and just see how it does and then like I say I'm going to possibly explore a couple of different locations and just see how well it does. Now there is quite a lot of obstacles around as you can see there is street lights etc etc but there's no cars because this road is a private road so I'm just going to see what it can do but of course there is risk but I will do my best to try and make it as accurate as possible and hopefully I don't hit anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is then select the car which should stand out and as you can see the gimbal has just picked that up and then I need to press this button again to say we want to start the follow now there we go and of course I am monitoring and my finger is over the stop button There you go, it's doing quite well. Going about 15 miles an hour. Going to a dark bit, is it going to keep sight of me? Yes it is. I think that's worked pretty well. I'm quite impressed with that. And then select the car again. And allow that tracking. Understand the risks and let's go. Try and get a bit more speed up this time. Like I said, it is pretty windy. And that's done an absolutely fantastic job. And of course, if I slow down at the end of this road, it should catch me back up. But obviously this isn't an Air 2S, you know, it's not the fastest drone in the world. There you go, I think that's done fantastic. There you go, it's coming out the way of that street light. Really, really, really impressive. I'm quite happy about that. If we can just turn around here. We've got our eyes on the drone. Let's take off quite fast, see what happens. There we go. Now for me, that is more than enough to get some nice dynamic shots. back where we started. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly put in some footage here from another uh, scenario that I'm going to go to next and just let me know what you think then we'll end the video. Right so the coast is clear let's go and let's just see if it can keep up. There you go it is tracking and I'm doing about 10 miles an hour it seems to be following absolutely fine okay so let's pick up a little bit of speed up to 20 and again the drone is following absolutely fine it's incredibly impressive actually there's two people running by here and they didn't want to move over did they Okay, so let's just slow down a little bit because it is windy. Did it follow? Did it struggle there? Is it going to pick me back up? 
So it's showing a yellow box, so there you go, green again. So let's go and see if it can keep up. Now the road is actually Follow coming down here. Follow due to non-optimal conditions. Well, let's just quickly try one more time, okay, and get a little bit more height this time, allow the follow, okay. And then what we'll do is we will continue on our journey, just up the road a little bit longer and just see if it can keep up. Don't want to go too fast. But I think that's doing Follow an ended due job. to non-optimal conditions. So I have just got back from that second location and I'm beginning to think to myself, why didn't I just record my intro in the car? It is so much less windy. But overall, what did you make of that test with Litchi and the DJI Mini 2? I thought it performed pretty darn well. And don't forget this software is in beta mode. It will only, of course, get better. Now, in that previous clip, there was a few times where the drone actually stopped following and it was throwing up an error message to say that it possibly wasn't optimal to continue the follow feature and the flight now many of you will possibly say that that's a problem and it should be able to follow i have the complete opposite view of that and i think that's great the fact that the the litchi software felt like it wasn't safe to continue the flight and actually stopped doing so so it just shows that there is some sort of protection uh, built into the software if it, if it thinks it can't continue and hopefully that could save people's drones getting broken or trash but that's the end of the video please do again let me know all your thoughts and feelings and what you think to this entire situation that we are in right now and please do let me know what video you would like me to uh, actually upload next um i'm probably going to look at possibly a gps follow because uh, that's an easy one to do and then i'm going to look at waypoints in much more detail where i'll show you exactly how to plan them see you again soon